under the guard right now, and Nathan's kind of romancing her to try to get himself in the door with the guard. Yeah. Is that going to create some like tension between the two guys? Maybe fighting for some affections here. I, you know, I've tried not to let women come between my romances. <laughs> <laughs> be interesting. And that, that's one of the great things about it. There's a lot of different directions it can go. Um, but there is some history between Jordan and Dwight, and it looks like there's uh, some history about what's going on. Yes, there's some history being made. Yes, thank you. begrudgingly, but not like uh, Duke and Dwight. Like, we really just don't like each other. And, and I like that aspect, too. And, um, you know, the fact that Vince is kind of like this grandfather, and, and Dave is the quirky uncle. And, you know, uh, that's how I've tried to relate to him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm, what am I? I'm like your, your, young, your younger brother? Yeah. Your older brother? You think of me as a younger brother? I'm older than you. I think of you as a younger brother. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Like the younger big brother. <laughs> yeah, like my yeah, like my younger yeah. brother with a pituitary uh, <laughs> uh, thyroid. I haven't got the surgery yet. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, no, but it is it is all really family. Um, the guard this year uh, shows us this whole other side of Haven that's been hinted at in yeah, see, a little bit of season two. Um, but but it does really... Um, how do I say stuff without saying stuff? I know. It takes off. Just say the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just say the stuff. It does... It's, it's, it's this whole other piece of the the, the puzzle that, that we've been that you're waiting for. But then it seems like a big... It seems like a big reveal and all sorts of neat answers. But yeah, then again, they just raise way more questions. Um, something more dangerous in town. I guess, you know, we had some... Uh, we had the Rev and the, some factions in, in Haven. And so this is another you know, to look at the troubles. And what slightly confused me about Nathan becoming an initiate is it happened slightly before his relationship with Audrey progressed. So he's already declaring his love, but also my concern is Audrey didn't really need protection. So I didn't quite understand why he would feel need. Audrey didn't need protection? Well, I, she's so strong, even though she was kidnapped. But I still see her as an incredibly strong character. Right, she is, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I guess to answer that question with my small brain, um, Nathan would, you know, regardless of whether she needs it or not, he would feel like giving it to her, you know. Um, and especially when it comes to that nefarious creature over there, Mr. Balfour, plays to, you know, um, it just goes super deep for Nathan, you know, he, did, he does not, as much as he, you know, loves the guy on one hand, and he's like a brother, you could, what? are you what? doing? <laughs> nefarious creature. I was talking about nefariousness and your relationship to it. <laughs> I was saying, as much as I love... love yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting misty now. <laughs> there were some rumors in San Diego. Huh? Um, and those rumors will just be much worse. I mean, in New York and Toronto, it's just, it's just all... I know, you're going to get a talk or two after this. It's terrible. It's terrible. So that leads to a question, because the show is very intense. You guys are in a lot of glaring and scowling at times. Yeah. Uh, but obviously the, set, the atmosphere on set seems like it's a lot lighter than that. So what's it, what's it like on a day basis? Yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> it, is, it is ridiculous to, have, to do these... Sometimes do these intense scenes where we're talking about things that we have no clue what they mean um, and supreme ultimate hatred and mistrust and suspicion of each other and then, you know... They say cut, and we're immediately um, making really, really lame fart jokes and like behaving like six-year-olds for the most part, you know. Um, but that's just how we roll, you know. Um, I don't know. It's it's a it's it's silly, but it's 
dress up and it's a blast. Like we really do have a stupid good time. Yeah, yeah. I mean the the, the, the crew, uh, you know, like everybody. We you just take certain moments and you go. We're getting paid to do this. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Live in Nova Scotia and have fun with a bunch of people that. Uh, that you would hang out yeah. with if you didn't have to. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it's just one of those uh, serendipity that everybody landed in the same spot. I don't know, but it's just a, yeah. it's a fun, fun place to be. Yeah. And, I mean, you know, Adam said over there, like, we don't, you know, none of us, well, now I'm going to screw up with <laughs> one. It's okay. And he was like, but, you know, you can't take this ourselves too seriously at the end of the day we're you know we're telling stories and getting to play dress up um, in a in a grand way um, but that being said we all you know we do sure we do take our take our, our jobs very seriously our work very seriously but I guess um, Maybe we're all maybe we're all kind of work in a in a similar way, which is not necessarily being the like brooding method actor that I can't look at anyone for. The, but we 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 enjoy ourselves, you know. But then, as evidenced by Mr. Balfour, that nefarious creature over there, <laughs> knocking it out of the park over and over again. I mean, when when we need to do the. The dramatic stuff, like it's a talented bunch of people. Where would you like to go next? Uh, 